Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Climb Krios Adventure Helmet. Climb are perhaps the first name in adventure motorcycle clothing and their Krios helmets are very highly regarded by riders in the world of adventure biking. This is the base model of two Krios helmets. The Krios Pro sits above this one, but this is still a top quality lid with premium materials and it costs £380, so it deserves some serious scrutiny in its own right. The shell is made from a composite of fibres which keeps it light. In fact, this helmet is a smidge lighter than the carbon shelled Krios Pro despite being cheaper than the Pro. This size medium helmet weighs in on R scales at 1256 grams, which puts it firmly amongst the lightest full face helmets of any kind, not just the lightest adventure helmets. Venting is looked after by an inlet with a slide cover just above the visor, which is effective at drawing cooling air through a direct channel to the forehead. It might look as though there's a substantial vent at the chin, but appearances can be deceptive. The mesh on the front here allows a small amount of air to flow onto the inner surface of the visor, but there's nothing to bring air towards your mouth. That flow of air that does reach the visor isn't crucial for keeping the ride mist free because the visor is pinlock protected. It's a 120 grade pinlock insert, that's the middle of three levels, and it gives deep and wide coverage, so you'll be able to look through that pinlock rather than having to look at it. Handily, you also get an additional tinted visor in the box with this helmet. It's for off-road use only, it's not road legal, but it's a useful addition. It's also pin lock ready, so you can swap the insert from the standard visor or you can buy a second insert to leave fitted in the tinted one. The visor comes off along with the peak. These two buttons on the sides rotate and then slip out of their mountings, allowing both the visor and the peak to be pulled clear. The peak also has a screw at the top there. Removing the visor leaves room for goggles, although you don't have to take off the visor to use goggles, as the strap can slide under a visor once it's been lifted. There's room under there for that. That covers three of the four riding modes, as Climb call them. Adventure is with the visor and the peak. Dual Sport is when you slot goggles in without removing the visor, and Off-Road is when you have the goggles and you don't have the visor. The fourth mode is Street Mode, which involves removing the peak and keeping the visor for more streamlining in the appearance and the aerodynamics. On many adventure helmets, street mode is essential on longer trips because it avoids the neck ache that's caused by buffeting around the peak. But in my experience, this lid is pretty good for aerodynamics with the peak still on and owner reviews back that up. Still, there are some riders who want the street look and to get that, you need to just take off the peak and fit the visor covers that are supplied in the box to take up the room where the peak would otherwise be sat. And there's also a shorter screw that's supplied and the reason for that is that it sits more neatly on top of the shell and should mean that you get less turbulence while you're riding rather than the knurled screw that you get to attach the peak. In my experience it's better to use this knurled screw when you have the peak attached because what it means is you can undo it slightly by hand and just slot the visor into two into one of the two positions that it comes in you can tilt it slightly forward or slightly back. The Krios interior is very comfortable with a soft and supple lining that's easy to remove for washing and Climb have also worked with Senna to create a dedicated 10U intercom just for the Krios helmets. We'll put a link to that intercom in the description for this video. The final but very important detail is that the strap is done up by D-rings in keeping with the sporty attitude and light weight of the Krios helmet. Customer feedback with this helmet is almost entirely positive. Riders love the feeling of lightweight, which is genuinely impressive, and the comfortable lining also gets a really good amount of complimentary comments in those reviews. There seems to be a feeling that going down a size from normal is the way to go. It's not really my place to argue with people who've bought this helmet over sizing, but I normally wear a medium, and that's the size that fits me perfectly in the Krios. So I wouldn't say it's a certainty that you'll need to drop a size as well. If you do feel you want something even more premium than the Krios, that Pro model is available. That helmet has a carbon shell, a visor that automatically darkens in the sunlight, and it also has an area chin vent that you can open and close to get more air coming through to your mouth. 
It also has a new quick release strap fastener called Fidlock. We've given that lid a video all to itself and there's a link to that in the description for this video. I hope that tells you all there is to know about the Climb Krios Adventure helmet, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.